Have you ever looked at a young MMA prospect and think this guy could be the next John Jones or Anderson Silva? Not trying to finish it! Or this girl could be the next Amanda Nunes? More traditional combinations that you can- Oh! oh but years later, you find the prospect in the middle of nowhere, struggling to keep their place in the promotion. Russell, they got MMA is a brutal sport where talent and potential alone aren't enough to propel you to the top of the food chain. Here are 10 fighters who were supposed to be great, but well, disappointed. Surprise, surprise! The king is back! Brandon Thatch. Furious pace here, Kenny. Through two minutes, a knee landed there! Brandon Thatch! He's in feet of Brandon Thatch to barrage him with punch after punch and it's a finish. With two lightning fast knockout wins to mark the beginning of his UFC career, Brandon Thatch was considered the next big thing when he joined the promotion in 2013. The UFC and Dana White was so high on the welterweight prodigy that they put him in a main event spot with Steven Thompson in only his third fight. Wonderboy unfortunately had to pull out due to injury and in came Benson Henderson. Sadly, the UFC's decision to fast track Thatch was a bad one and it marked the beginning of his downfall. Thatch was badly exposed against Henderson, who submitted him in the fourth round. As he stepped oh, up. He may have this. He, he may have, have this. It. Under the chin. Thatch is winching. There's the That's tag. It. Benson Henderson does it. He couldn't recover from this loss, and after losing three more times by submission, he was released in 2016. Thatch hasn't competed ever since. Sage Northcutt. But try to finish it. Look at that speed. Hit it. It's all while Brandon Thatch's fall was bad, Sage Northcutt's was far worse. Another victim of the UFC's fast tracking process. The 18 year old wild fight fans and UFC bigwigs alike by winning his first two fights. Oh, combination from Northcutt, now he's teeing off. Total change in this fight. Oh, look at that! Zach Otto is out! But then came a stumble in the shape of Brian Barbarena, and things took a 180 degree turn. But if Northcutt tries. It is all over! Sage Northcutt taps! After that, Northcutt won four out of five fights, but never faced a top dog. And in 2019, he switched to one championship after his relationship with the UFC turned a wee bit sour. Northcutt didn't catch a break in one championship either. In his promotional debut, he got brutally knocked out by Cosmo Alessandre, who broke a bunch of bones in his face with one punch. Paige Van Zandt. More traditional combinations that you can- Oh! Oh! oh on cue! Looking to finish this fight! And it's all over! Much like Sage Northcutt, Northcutt, Paige Van Zandt had it all from fighting repertoire to model-like looks, meaning that she had the potential to be the face of the UFC strawweight division when it was introduced in 2015. A young and gorgeous fighter with an exciting style seemed like the perfect recipe for Dana and his musketeers, who were over the moon when PVZ scored three wins in her first three fights. And then came the unfortunate main event against Rose Nama Yunus, and things took a nosedive. Nama Yunus crushed Van Zandt, turning a pretty face into a bloody mess and a career in a very bad spot. This is tight. This one might do it. This is there the it is. So Rose Nama Yunus. Because after that, Van Zant went two and three in the next five fights. Paige eventually parted ways with the UFC in 2020 and tried her luck in the bare knuckle fighting championship with no success. For now, PVZ has no plans of fighting because why get punched in the face when you can make millions on OnlyFans? Brandon Vera. At least he knows what's yeah. coming. That's it's, it. That's it's, it. It's, One of the hot shots of the early 2000s, Brandon Vera entered the UFC heavyweight shark tank in 2006, securing three consecutive wins with the most notable one coming against Frank Mir. Here's the real danger. Trouble. Trouble. Miles and Cotty on top of it. It's 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 Three wins and three UFC fights, Vera was oozing with confidence, and many thought he had the potential to be big, like a two division champion at heavyweight and light heavyweight. Unfortunately, the UFC ride for Vera wasn't the championship story many expected. Despite seven years in the promotion, he couldn't quite break into that title contention scene, alternating wins and losses. Luckily, his post UFC career was successful, as he found heavyweight glory in one championship. In 2015, he became the one heavyweight champ and held on to that title for an impressive six year stretch. Still, it's not as great as he would have liked his career to be. Kevin Lee. Switching it up to the body. Yeah. Oh! 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 Kevin Lee! 
If only this dude had focused on finding holes in his own game. Kevin Lee was once considered the next big thing at lightweight and the perfect antidote to Khabib Nurmagomedov and Tony Ferguson, who were ripping through everybody in the division not long ago. In his first 11 UFC fights, Lee secured 9 wins and 2 losses and seemed to improve every time he stepped inside the cage. At one point in his career, he even started seeing holes in everyone's game. But then, he squared off with the devil of the division, Tony Ferguson, who submitted the Motown phenom in the third round of the interim title fight to hand him his third UFC loss. Let's see if Kevin can survive this. Oh, That's it. That's it. Tony Ferguson. That was a massive setback for Lee, who failed to recover from the defeat. Following his loss to Ferguson, Lee fought eight times, with five losses before retiring at only 30 years old. Eric Silva. To represent. Oh, well, a huge right, right hand. Big right hand by Silva. Trying to finish this fight. It is all over. The Brazilian splashed in the UFC in 2011, entering with a stellar 12-on-1 record and winning his first fight by knockout in only 40 seconds. After a sensational debut, however, things took an unfortunate turn. In his second UFC fight, Silva got disqualified due to punches to the back of his opponent's head. It is all over! Due to illegal head blows, Eric Silva has been disqualified. Therefore, the winner is Carlo Neo Prater. Oh. See, I was telling him, don't, don't hit the back of the head, don't hit the back But it seems that he's hitting the side of the head. It's the back of the head. That doesn't look like the back of the head to me, man. And although he bounced back with a win, the reality check hit hard when he faced John Fitch and got dominated on the mat. For the next seven years, Silva couldn't quite meet the sky-high expectations he set with his blazing start. And after going 7-8 and eight in the UFC, Silva was released from the promotion in 2017. Todd Duffy. Todd Duffy seems to be enjoying a big advantage. That's it. It, it is all That's over. It. With a physique resembling a Greek god and serious knockout power, Todd Duffy had a lot of hype behind him when he joined the UFC in 2009, and he put the heavyweight division on notice with a 7 second knockout of Tim Haig in his UFC debut. And Todd Duffy shook his head, no. Well, you know what, they're touching now. Looking to finish a fight over. over. But that was that. The following year, Duffy faced a massive upset after suffering a defeat at the hands of Mike Russo. Russell, oh, he got caught. He was released from the UFC immediately after, but came back in 2012. Unfortunately, injuries limited him to only four fights in the next nine years. Darren Till. Dick man, he is eating. He's out. He's out. Cold. Darren Till! After Michael Bisbing, if there was any English fighter who had the potential to be a UFC champion, and that too a dominant one, it was Darren the Gorilla Till. The man was an absolute terror on the feet and had a very polished ground game. In his first six fights in the UFC, Till won five with one draw, and he most notably beat the likes of Donald Cerrone and Stephen Thompson. A massive elbow there from Till. It's, oh. going up. it's a rally of punches here! Cowboys turned away from his opponent! Mark on us, taking a look! What a stop! A couple of victories that earned him a shot at the welterweight champion Tyron Woodley in 2018. The stage was perfectly set for Till to bag a UFC title, and even the promotion backed him to win since they didn't like Woodley's boring style. Fortunately, the step up in competition was too soon for Till, who ended up getting smashed with his career turning upside down. Between weight cutting issues, injuries, and personal troubles, Till lost his way a bit and lost four out of five fights before parting ways with the UFC in 2023. Petra Yan. This dude is the most talented UFC fighter with the worst luck. While Petra Yan signed with the UFC, he was considered the next big thing in the division. A solid Muay Thai fighter with seriously good takedown defense. Yan sliced through everyone he faced to win the bantamweight title in 2020. With the belt firmly wrapped around his waist, Yan was set to reign for as long as he desired, and many thought it'd end his career as the division's goats. But things didn't go as planned. In his first title defense, Yan lost his belt by a disqualification. Head here to that Stop! Oh, wait, that's illegal. Talk. He was stupid enough to land a knee on his grounded opponent, Aljamain Sterling, and not only lose his belt, but also lose three out of his next four fights. With a decision loss to Sterling in their rematch, a controversial loss at the hands of Sean O'Malley, followed by a loss against Merad Valishvili. The good thing is, Yan is still young and hasn't been blown away in his losses, meaning that he can bounce back and still achieve the heights he has a talent for. It will be super difficult nonetheless. Cody Garbrandt. Justin Buckhol Oh! Derek Mendes! Garbrandt celebrates That'll do it! People like Prince oh, just tagged him with a beautiful right hand. Look. Hit it! That's it! Over. 
Name a bigger disappointment than this man. Imagine starting your career with a string of victories and topping them off by absolutely dismantling the GOAT of your division to win the title. And that is how Cody Garbrandt started his career in the UFC. When he won the belt at UFC 207 by smashing Dominic Cruz, he was the man, the myth, the legend, who according to Dana White had the potential to be as big as Conor McGregor. Unfortunately, Garbrandt let his emotions get the better of him. Heading into his first title defense against TJ Dillashaw at UFC 217, Garbrandt was extremely angry given the sour history between the two, and the champ wanted to punish the challenger. As a result, he threw his game plan out the window and fought a wild fight, which resulted in a brutal knockout loss. Oh! He's there! The rematch was very much the same. Garbrandt came out hot and was knocked out cold. Brandt nearly out on his feet. A big right hand. Back of the head. A world of trouble. Oh. Big knee. Since then, he has competed five times with three losses and two wins. So these are the 10 fighters who were supposed to be great, but disappointed. Who let you down the most? Tell us in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We've got more cool MMA stuff coming your way. So have a great day and I'll see you next time.